What's going on? This is Ron Carter, and you're listening to Lead, Sell, and Scale. This podcast is really just an accumulation of my entire journey when it comes to making money online. I think I start off in the very first episode of the first season talking about selling products on Shopify and then quickly move into affiliate marketing, which is where I made my first sales, and then insights that I learned as a coach and uh, really just documenting the whole journey. So I don't really sell anything on this podcast. If I do talk about links in some of the older episodes, they no longer work. Just letting you know that right up front. Uh, If you do want to check out some free training on what I help my clients do, you can always go to therealroncarter.com. But other than that, let's get right into the episode. What's up, everybody? Ron Carter here, your host of Ecom Billionaires Podcast. And today we're going to be talking about why 99% of all strategies that you use to get quick results do not work. That being said, let's cue the intro and get straight into it. What's up, everyone? I'm Ron Carter, and I'm part of an underground movement of entrepreneurs who pride ourselves in giving value over making the sale. We put our message out to the world and let the people we can help come to us. We keep our nose to the grindstone because we know that every piece of content we publish is like a beacon of hope for the people we aim to serve. Unlike traditional marketers, we don't build complicated systems or funnels for the main objective of getting the sale or cheat by starting off with big piles of venture capital cash. Instead, we provide value, solve problems, build relationships, and most importantly, we empower others to do the same. We focus on contributing rather than converting. We're not in this game just to make money, but to make a difference. We build lifelong fans who we can serve over and over again. You're listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and we are future billionaires. What's good, everybody? Let's get it. Let's go. Ron Carter here, your host. And today we're covering why 99% of all the strategies that promise quick results don't work. Why they don't work. <laughs> and this is, this is going to be um, a doozy because it's not going to be what you expect. I guarantee it's not what you expect. So let's get right into it. Um, now, when it comes to like quick strategies, like just just to remind you guys, like when we're building a business, we can't build a business based off of quick strategies. We can't build a long term business. Now, you might be able to build out a process that is profitable for a certain amount of time. Let's say let's give a good example. Uh, you know, um, what were those things called? Widgets, finger spinners. Remember those? Like three, four years ago, every kid needed one for like a summer. Remember that? And and they weren't in big department stores. They weren't in gas stations or anything like that. People were drop shipping them. They were selling them online, on Facebook, on little Shopify stores. People were building entire Shopify stores just to sell a finger spinner. And I wasn't up on this wave yet. I wasn't selling Shopify stuff yet. And, and most of the time when people are selling e-commerce and drop shipping, they're just looking for a popular product that a lot of people like that they can start selling right away. And usually what happens is the popularity dies and then that store owner is looking for another popular product that's in the niche that they're already selling. That way they can email their customers and say, hey, I got this other awesome new product, you wanna check it out? See, the problem is they're constantly searching. They're constantly looking for that next new product. So most of the stuff that you see, like this is a common problem that a lot of people who have Shopify stores that are drop shipping experience. So when you look at drop shipping courses, when you look at information that people are selling, when it comes to being successful with Shopify and being successful with drop shipping, you'll see that a lot of it, a lot of the courses revolve around doing product research and doing Facebook ads. And it's because they're constantly looking for a new product because the last popular product isn't popular anymore and they have to go back searching. I don't know about you guys, but I started a business so that I don't have to constantly do the same thing over and over and over again, day in and day out to make it work. Like having to look for a new product 
every time like if you want to create a new campaign let's say like you want to start running facebook ads and have your money coming in automated because you're automatically getting sales uh the stuff's automatically getting shipped out you have people dealing with customer service as soon as as soon as the popularity of the product that you're selling dies down now you got to go look for another product your, your business is not based off of the product that you're selling your business is based off of you your brand and if people like know and trust you they'll buy anything that you have but building a personal brand takes time it takes effort you have to put yourself out there there is no quick strategy for building your personal brand that's like saying how do i get really popular really quick and have people actually really like me at the same time and not be some fake popularity it's like you don't you know um so quick strategies though like that was an example of a quick strategy like a quick strategy is uh trying to like hack product research going on to amazon and looking for the 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 products like looking at the uh, product sell list uh, i know that's not what it's actually called but in amazon uh, there's a, a way to look up the product ranking uh, you can look at a category like hiking and camping and then you can look at let's see the most successful products in this niche and then it'll show you all the products that are selling on amazon and it'll give you a seller's rank and if that seller's rank is under like i would pick always i would always pick products that are under 20,000 like their rank is 20,000 or or lower because that's actually really good there's the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of product li- listed on amazon so if it's in the 20,000 range that means it's selling but guess what just because it's selling to other people doesn't mean it's going to sell for you and this is why i moved away from physical products it was so just wrapped up in 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 tactics and strategies and and there were so many of them and i was like i want to build something that's real and the only way to really do that is to build connections with people and but i'm i'm kind of getting uh off my topic a little bit for today's episode you know what to boil down why why 99% of these quick result strategies why they don't work it's simply because the the person actually let's tell a story to explain this that'd be a lot better right so let's say joe schmo is uh he is an aspiring expert. He wants to start selling courses, right? He wants to start selling courses, but he hasn't been that successful yet. The only thing that he's done is a uh, Let's try to think of a good one here. The only thing that he's done, oh this is a good one. The only thing that he's done is he started doing some affiliate marketing. But he wasn't doing it the right way. He was just trying to find anything that would work. He was going from like like for example, he he was trying to sell his own product like drop shipping, his own his own hiking and camping gear, right? And then he says, "You know what? Well, maybe I might be able to sell this product." He's thinking the product is the business still. So he's thinking if I sell the right thing, people will buy it. So he decides that, "Oh, instead of doing physical products, I'm going to sell click funnels because I really like this. And so he he started uh trying to get people signed up to a free trial and he took a course on it and he got a few people signed up and then one of those people bought some extra stuff and he made like he made some extra money. Now if you guys haven't picked up or if you guys don't listen to my podcast, I'm basically telling you my story. Like this is how I started. This is how I got into affiliate marketing. I was selling physical products on Shopify and then I saw this thing that said, "Hey, our affiliates are making bank." and really i was just trying to make money then and and i said okay well let me try affiliate marketing and instead of affiliate marketing click funnels though i tried to sell this weight loss product and uh and it's funny cuz you know why i stopped affiliate marketing I, i was flopping for every funnel i built i would flip flop i'd build one funnel for my own hiking and camping gear it wouldn't do right and instead of testing it and making it better i would build a completely different funnel for affiliate marketing and and then that wouldn't do right and then i'd switch to another funnel I just did this over and over again for a while. But, you know, in that process, I got some people signed up to ClickFunnels and then a month later, they bought tickets to a live event and I had a $1000 day. And that was the day that I proved to myself that this is real. That this isn't bullshit and you can really make money doing this and that's when I went full steam ahead. But let's say that I I decided to take what I did that one time. It wasn't duplicated. It wasn't duplicatable and make a quick course out of it and say, "Hey, this is how you can make 
This is how you can get your first thousand dollar day within 30 days uh, promoting ClickFunnels. Like, what if I did something like that and I made and I put together a little bullshit course where it's just some videos where I just basically show you the process that I went through and, and you can fake stuff like this easily because, all, you know, the whole point of a course is not to show somebody what you did one time. It's to show people how they can do that too and have the success that you've had. And if you haven't done something on repeat, if you haven't, if it's not replicatable yet, then you shouldn't be putting out a course, honestly, unless it's going to be free and you're going to be helping people like kind of figure out, figure it out, you know, because then you're replicating the process with them. That's totally fine because they're not paying for it. They're going to get some value and then you'll be able to sell it later. But a lot of people, they take some quick strategy that worked one time for them and then they market it to everybody and say, this is going to make this stuff work really fast for you. So this is why this process does not work. If you try to sell something like this, what you're going to be doing when you, when you develop your message and you say this is the quick, super quick hack that's going to make you have the success that you're looking for. Look, I did this and I had a thousand dollar day. And then most of the bullshitters will, will say something like, now imagine if you get this process down and you start to do this. May, let's say you just have one of these $1,000 days once a week. You, you start off after a month, you make, you're doing that once a week. Now, mind you, in this story, right, I haven't said that I'm making it once a week, right? I'm just painting a nice picture to get you excited. And people do this. And, uh, and I'll say, oh, great. So now, you know, you're, you're making $1,000 a week. You're getting one of these sales every week. Now, so that's $4,000 a month. Now, imagine you move to making one of these sales every day. It's $1,000 a day. What? How would your life change if you're making $1,000 a day? That's $31,000 every month. We are well over six figures a year. Would that make a big difference in your life? Now, all of a sudden, I got you thinking about how you're, how you're going to have some quick results. You, there's this quick strategy. And, and because of how I've told this story, you have it put together in your mind that you're going to do some quick thing and then end up you know, making six figures, right? Now, mind you, when these bullshit marketers do stuff like this, they might be able to get quick sales on the front end. But these courses inevitably always fail. They don't do well. And people aren't happy with them because of the pre-frame. That, that little bullshit sales message that I just shared with you guys that I made up off the top of my head. You got to understand who your message is speaking to by the way you're wording it. Now, when I say quick hack that can get you up to six figures within this year, who are the people that that's going to attract? That's going to attract opportunity seekers. That's going to attract people who want a quick solution to their problem. That's going to attract people who want a magic bullet. They want, a, they want a magic bullet to come in and kill all their problems with the pull of one trigger. And that's not how anything in life works. If you want something that's valuable, that's going to bring value consistently in your life and in others and in the lives of your family members and enrich other people that are connected with you, you have to put in time and effort to build that. It's not going to be some magic pill, some magic system. And if something works like that, I guarantee it's not going to work for long because these systems that we're using to automate these processes are updated like once a week. I think Facebook is updated like once a week at the minimum. Um, it, all I know is every time I open my app store app, there's always updates available. That, that's what I know, you know, and so when you base your strategy off of working against the algorithm instead of working with it and, and at the same time, you know, so, so that means your strategy is going to change drastically just when the algorithm changes. And at the same time, you're targeting people who want a quick fix. These are people who are tired of putting in effort. Just those two things don't mix. Somebody who's tired of putting in effort, if you combine them with the best information in the world, showing them exactly how to do something, they're not going to be successful. Because information alone does not breed success. The willingness to fail the willingness to take action regardless of the result. 
and do that continually is what breeds success. That alone can breed success. Even if you don't have all of the information, even if you barely have any of it. Because you taking action and failing gives you the information that you need for the next action. I'm going to say that again. You you taking action and failing actually gives you the information that you need to succeed in, in that mini step, in that mini situation. So all you have to do is look at, analyze it and be like, oh, well, that's how, that's why I failed. And then you do it again. And you don't feel bad that you're doing it again. You should actually be happy because you know that you're making progress compared to last time. And, and when you do this continually, it doesn't matter where you start. It doesn't matter how much information you're missing or how many pieces of the puzzle you don't have. You will be successful but all these other people that are coming out with these quick hacks and these quick strategies they're marketing it to people who don't have that mindset they say hey you just do this real quick real fast and then you're going to get these awesome results and then you look and the only people that have really good results in these people's testimonials are like the, the average 2 or 3% that already have the mindset that I just described. They already have the mindset of of attempting, not caring about if they fail or not, and then learning from that attempt, and then continuing that process. There's always gonna be a small percentage of people in society that, that are like that, right? But that's how we need to train ourselves to be. That way it doesn't, that way we're not gonna get duped by somebody's BS course or, or anything like that. Like, we'll be able to see it. Like, when we're just looking at the course. Like, okay. We, like, because what we really need to be able to find success, no matter what course you're buying, no matter what no matter what field you're in, what market you're in, all we really need is to find an effective leader that can instill the belief and basically instill the, what's the best way to say it? The behavior pattern of what I just described in you. When you can find somebody who can instill that into you so that you can believe, that they can actually get you to believe in yourself and that you can do this and that every failure is another step on the road towards success and that you're actually on your way and they applaud your failures and, 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 they, and they, they encourage you to do more after them. When you find that person, you're going you're gonna to be successful. When you can find somebody who, who helps instill that in you. And if you can't find somebody, then you, you do it. Like, we can do this. You don't need some quick strategy. Uh, whenever you're looking for, for something and you see that somebody's promising you the world in zero time with zero amount of work and, and they have some big price tag attached to it, uh, just know that if it looks too good to be true, it probably is. But when you see somebody and they say, hey, like, I don't have all the answers, but I do have some of them. I've got a little bit of experience in this so far. But what I can tell you is that I will not stop helping you. Everything that I know, I'm going to share with you. Um, and I'm going to guide you along this process because this is about progress. It's not about perfection. Uh, what we do is we take action and then when we make mistakes, we look at those mistakes and then we learn from them so that we can implement the right answer or, or the right um, strategy in our next attempt to mitigate failure. And we do this until we find success. And then once we find the successful process for whatever it is that we're doing, then we scale it up. That's how we build profitable businesses from the ground up. So when you find somebody who's honest with you and says it's going to take work, it's going to take multiple failures again and again, but just know that that's all progress. When you find somebody that's willing to be upfront and honest with you like that, then you know you have a winner because they're not saying that you're going to get something real quick. They're saying it's actually going to take a while, but anything worthwhile in life does. How many times have you gotten something that just fell out of the sky uh, and, and it lasted and it had a lasting impact on your life? You might have you might have gotten some quick money real quick from you know hot hand in a dice game, <laughs> you know winning craps in Vegas or slot machine. But I bet you 
Most of the time, quick money that comes quick leaves quick. We don't end up making great decisions with quick money like that. There's not that many people that go and, you know, win at slots and then they go take that money and start investing in real estate with their slot money. You know, uh, most of the time they spend it on a bunch of bullshit because they have that same short term mentality that they had when they made the investment in the first place. Actually, most of the time they don't even look at the slot machine like an investment. They're playing a game and then they won some money. But no, really, they, they invested. Well, actually, no, it's not an investment. They 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 got lucky and didn't lose money. That's what happened. Um, but so the pre-frame, the state of mind that people are in before you give them your offer is so important. And, and when you're honest with people, when you're upfront, and you say this is going to take work, this is going to take time. You're going to get the people who are actually serious into your course and into your program if you're selling stuff. So. And if you're not selling courses, if you're not selling information to help other people, if you're going through it still, if you're learning and you want to learn how to do this stuff right, um, I actually have some free training that my mentor created. My mentor, Zach Crawford, had a huge hand in in showing me how to do this stuff and how to actually be profitable and and do this the right way and build a long-term asset that's really going to be able, you know, to pay us on an ongoing basis, like forever. Like I've done nothing but make progress since I found Zach. Some of it's been slow, some of it's been fast, but that's how life goes. There's ups and there's downs. And the same, it, the same, it goes the same for our business. And so, yeah, if you guys want to get uh, some training done by Zach, you can just go to ecombillionaires.com slash free. I'm sorry, ecombillionaires.com slash win. So like W-I-N, um, econbillionaires.com slash win, and you can get the free training. I'm actually going to be mentioning it in the outro to this episode. Um, and yeah, so I hope you guys got some value out of that. Uh, you can go grab that free training. Um, join the Facebook group as well. If you want to be connected with other people who are going through that and other marketers who are doing this thing. Um, also do a lot of live videos in there, doing screen recordings, a lot of valuable training going down in the Facebook group. So, um, and it's all free. So check out the link in the description for that. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, give you a bunch of links um, audio fashion. You guys can check the description if you wanna check it out. And other than that, hope you're all having an awesome day. Peace. Thanks for listening to today's episode all about why 99 percent of quick strategies fail make sure you tune in for tomorrow's episode i'm going to be talking about why it's so important to just like be talking to people that are next to you around you building relationships with the people that are around you and and in your life instead of just constantly looking into your phone so make sure you tune in for tomorrow's episode for that thanks for listening peace Thanks for listening to the episode, guys. Really appreciate it. Hey, you know, I wanted to share something with you guys, and I have some value that I really want to give out, and because I want to help. Like, when I first started affiliate marketing, there's a shitload of people on the internet that are providing affiliate marketing training, and I wish you could see me as I'm air quoting um, (laughs) as I say that, because there's so much just BS that you have to wade through because you can tell that, oh, this person just made this because they're trying to sell that. And, and the training is like half ass and or it's just revolved around a hack or revolved around a process that's only going to work for a certain amount of time because it's like, oh, right now you could leverage the Facebook, the Facebook platform by doing ads like this. But like six months down the road, there's been so many updates that it's outdated and the person doesn't update it or they update it and then you got to buy it again. Like I'm against all training like that. And I just want to put that out there. Like that's why you don't hear me promoting training that often. You hear me either talking about stuff that I'm doing or or stuff that I'm trying to provide to you. And that's it. But um, my mentor, Zach Crawford, he's the guy that I've been learning all this stuff from. The only high ticket course that I've ever bought access to is Zach Crawford. And that's where I've been getting everything from. And as soon as I can, I'm going to be buying his his accelerator program and going into his one-on-one coaching program. 
and, and from there, you know, getting with the results that I get from that, going on to Russell Brunson, at least as far into it as I can. Um, so I'm investing into myself as well. But I just want to let you guys know that I have this free training that Zach actually does. It's done by him, but he's letting me leverage it. So it's my funnel. Um, it's basically my little website that you can go on to and get this awesome training that's done by him uh, for free. And he's going to actually show you how to build a long term asset, how to actually start doing this and build something that's not some flash in the pan, quick strategy that's going to be outdated in six months or just some bullshit that's just made so that you can buy something else. It's some actual real value. It's gonna show you how he's became a super affiliate, how he's earned over seven figures doing this time and time again. And it's helped thousands of other people do the same thing. So if you guys are interested in that, and you wanna hop into this and just stop sitting on the sidelines and you know put some skin in the game and start learning how to do this stuff. Um, I made it easy for you guys. I know that you're listening to this on your phone right now. So instead of giving you a web address, uh, which actually I'll throw that out there too, just in case that's how you guys want to do it. You can go to ecombillionaires.com slash win, so W-I-N. So that's ecombillionaires.com slash win. But if you guys don't want to do that right now, you can actually send a text message. Um, so you can pull out your phone, uh, open up your text right now. And the number that you're going to want to text is 678 area code. 506-7543. So that's 678-506-7543. And I want you to text, please show me all one word. So type, please show me. So that's P-L-E-A-S-E-S-H-O-W-M-E. So send that off and then just follow the instructions and then you'll get the first training sent to your inbox immediately. So if you're driving, you're at the gym, you're doing something else, you can just text, please show me to number 678-506-7543 and then follow the prompts on the screen. It'll ask for your email address after you send that. Then you send your email address afterwards and then when you get home from the gym or when you get home from walking the dog or whatever it is that you're doing while you're listening to this, maybe driving in into work um, or home from work, when you get home, you'll have the first lesson of the training waiting for you in your inbox. You'll have Zach talking about his journey as a super, as a super affiliate and showing you how he made his first million. I think that's the first training. It's like an hour long training. It'll be right there waiting for you. So. I hope that that brings you guys some value and I hope that you uh, capitalize on that opportunity and hope you're all having an awesome day. Thanks for listening. Love all you guys.